don't apply to the individuals who have parasites since a higher parasite load is strongly correlated with worse health. But the pressure those parasites put on populations can have really big impacts by keeping ecosystems in check. Take invasive species. Invasive species are really good at taking over ecosystems. It's kind of what they're known for. But it's possible that the reason they don't wreak havoc on the ecosystems where they came from has to do with parasites. Parasites can help prevent any one species from becoming too dominant by keeping their host species growth at a reasonable level relative to the other organisms in the ecosystem. And escaping their natural parasites might be one of the reasons that some species become invasive in the first place. For example, when left unhampered by the burden of their pesky parasites, European green crabs are able to grow larger and spread more aggressively. So we can kind of think of parasites as helping to keep some species from becoming overbearing in their own environments. Some researchers have also hypothesized that as hosts evolved to outfox their parasites, the selective pressure created by those parasites causes more speciation and diversity, which is beneficial for the ecosystem overall. So the greater the diversity of parasites present, the more stable and resilient ecosystems may become. The problem is, thousands or even millions of parasite species may be at risk of extinction without us even knowing it. And the impact of their disappearance could radiate through their ecosystems in dramatic ways. See, unless the parasites are infecting us or domesticated animals like pets and livestock, we haven't exactly been invested in studying them or their ecological importance. So we have almost no long-term data on parasite population trends other than the ones that affect us. Since most ecological studies tend not to include parasites on the species checklist, they're not even on the radar of most scientists, even those actively studying biodiversity. So even if we wanted to rally around saving the parasites, we're lacking a full understanding of their ecosystem roles and long-term population trends to even know where to start. But we're starting to unravel the mysteries of some of our parasitic towns. A study published in 2023 looked into the long-term changes in parasite populations thanks to their accidental preservation in natural history collections. The study looked at 139 years worth of museum fish specimens from Puget Sound on the northwest coast of the United States. Because the fishes had all been preserved whole and undissected, their parasites were also preserved alongside them. That meant the researchers could measure the parasite load of the fish populations in each part. Picking up eight fish species, they discovered that the majority of parasite species were dwindling and not over time. Specifically,